Hi, I'm the Barbecue Butcher. In today's video, we've got a wild venison shoulder. One of my, my, my mates was out hunting and he gave it to us to see what we could turn it into for you guys. So let's get into it and see what cuts we can get out of this venison shoulder. So as you can see, it's not the world's biggest venison uh, shoulder, but that's all right. Um, what we're gonna do first is take off these shanks, get these out of the way, and then we're gonna take off the rest of the shoulder, the blade bone, scapula down there into the neck and get the neck fillets out and go from there. You can do a couple of different ways of taking these knuckles off or the shanks, but I'm just gonna cut it and saw it. It's just the easiest. Um, people out there just slow cook. So where you see the elbow here, you can hear me banging on it. Just go straight in there. It's the easiest way to know where it is or what it isn't. Remember, don't cut in your cutting board like I normally do and get told off by the wife. Slowly go down and when you hear it change, you'll hear it and that means it's at the bone. There we go. Makes a little faint different noise. Cut that off, one shank. Do the same with the opposite side, this side. Got a lot of fur here, but uh, <laughs> start off slow. Well, oh, saw's stuck. That wasn't look good. There we go. Done. That's all the sawing you need to do on this piece. So we're going to bring it back up here. We're going to take off this meat here. Start here. That's the bone, the brisket. So make a little line there so you can grab hold of it. When they're very small like this with not much fat, they're very hard to hold on to. So just be careful. And again, just run your knife down the bones, always pointing in with your knife as I am there. And run it down the back of the neck. And this is the neck fillet in here. These are the good parts of the forequarter that we can use as a steak. Come down, come down, and then there's your paddy whack. We all know about paddy whack from my other video, so just follow that paddy whack down and that'll take off the whole shoulder like that. Really easy to do. We'll do it on the second one. It's the same, same idea. Cut there. Things are so slippery. Whoop, I've got to cut myself. That would have been good for the, for the camera. Come down, push it out, and then pick up that neck fillet again as you go in there. So, so the neck fillet uh, connected to the loin. It goes all the way into the scotch fillet, then into the back fillet. Get that off. You could trim up all this if you wanted to uh, for sausages and, and mints. So here's the little fillet that I was talking about, very tiny. Take it off, there's one. Um, again, these get bigger as the animals get bigger. As I said, this one's not the world's biggest one in the world, but it's fine. And then when you look along here, you've got some paddy whack, scoop it out. Don't want to leave that on there. It's good for nothing. Let's read our little friend behind us. Good catch, mate. There's your back strap, uh, not back straps, neck fillets in here. Um, could leave, we're gonna leave one with the bone in, so we can just do a bone in uh, shoulder, like a bone in lamb four quarter roast. So that's all we're gonna do, and just slowly, slow cook that, and that's all you need. Okay, so we'll leave that one like that. This one, I'm just gonna bone out, because um, to show you how to bone it all out, and go from there here. Bit of, bit of gunk, fat, and then you're going to find the shoulder bone 
open in there. See that little hole there I made? That opens up the shoulder blade. So then again, angle your knife in to the bone and just slowly little nicks with your knife and pulling back here like that. And on this side, put your knife at the top of the skip, go down again, and then do it on this side. And then on this side, what we call a chuck tender, blade roll, has heaps of different names. And then just change your grip a bit to cut through the little shoulder blade there. You can pull it out like that, like a lamb. But this will probably tear because this this is very, very small. And then you just scoop it out. And then on the back, when you scoop home, turn it over. And here, see, that's the bone. Again, put your knife there, run it down, and just pull. See how I'm pulling? Easy. Pull it all out. Then you don't damage the meat. Because if you just try and rip the bone out, you'll probably rip big holes in the meat. So there's no need to do that. Then got this last little piece here, and then run your knife down, down the bone again, and again, and this part here. When you get there, just turn it, twist it, pop it up. Take that little part out. So again, that's it. That's its bone in, that's its bone, boneless. This part here, take that off, that just can just go for dice, dice venison or sausages. And in here, take all that off. Again, it's the same stuff. And you've got another, this is called the blade, like in the beef. So, show what it looks like. Take off that, and you can see there's actually a big muscle there with the blade. And this part here is called the oyster blade or the cross cut. And this is another little stake. And the blade roll. And this is just trim. They can just go out as venison trim or dice. So just if you want to make sausages or mince, burger patties, whatever you want to use it for, salamis, this stuff's really good. But the only thing about it is it doesn't have much fat at all. As you can see, there's stuff all fat here of any of these cuts. Um, that's the only downfall when you get a little little one like this, even with the big boys. So, then, and then I'll show you again with the the neck fillets. It's probably a really cool cut. And you just do them whole, put them straight, hot and fast on your barbecue, or uh, and fry them, and you just slice them and eat them like that so thanks for watching it's a real basic uh four quarter shown to you and uh hope you liked it and remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video